Damn, that, that, that shit hit me. Niggas ain't eat, eat shit all day. This alcohol already fucked me up. You use a grandma. We just do some McDonald's now. I am. I just, you know what I'm saying? Chief Mount Blunt. You know what I'm saying? So you don't, you, know, you, don't, you don't get like, you don't starve to death and like wake up hungover and like throwing up. No, you're supposed to hydrate. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're not eating food, you just got to drink water. As long as you got a nice amount of water in your system, mm-hmm. you're going to be, you're going you gonna to resurrect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm really, another pet peeve before we start trying not to bang on the table. Oh, my bad. It's cool. It's cool. And um, I should move my phone so in case it vibrates with me. Um, so we rolling, we good, we live, bam, we back in this bitch, never banger episode, uh, twenty million dollar podcast, number one podcast in the Izzer, and today we have Hotline. What's up, y'all? Some of you niggas might know as her, as her, as her popular name, Virgo. You know what I mean? Do you even like that name? Like, I feel like that name was just like he's just like, oh, oh, I need a nickname, so eyelashes. No, he was like, um, what, where are you from? I'm like, Baltimore. He like, how old are you? I'm like, 21. Like, you ask me all these goddamn questions. What's the what's my name? And then he's like, what's your sign? I'm like, of course, a Virgo. What you mean? The best sign ever. <laughs> and he like, you know what? That's your name, Virgo. And I'm like. because oh, you just fell into it so much. I mean, I'm a Virgo through and through, so that's why I rock with it. Because, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I put on for the Virgos. I feel like I put on for what we stand for on oh, there. Oh, shit. It, I didn't know it was like a whole, like. Community. Come on now, it's hella Virgos. Come on like now, no, you irky. No, it's not no group chat. It's just we, we really like be locked in. A Virgo to a Virgo, we be locked in. When you got say nothing. So I'm not. A, I'm a Leo, so I'm, I guess we like out of sync. Like yeah, I mean y'all probably got y'all what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Leos be real into their looks and stuff. So y'all probably be you know what I'm saying doing what y'all doing what y'all be doing. But I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I don't know. It's Are you not into your looks? I, I am, but oh, I didn't, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I didn't know. Like, I don't just. Be like, yeah, that's a Leo thing. She be telling me like, yeah, they be so. I feel like she be trying to call me a bitch. Ooh. You no. know what I mean? Because those who know how most people be like, oh, I don't like Leos. I ain't never, I ain't never had no issue with no Leo. Y'all right. cool in my book. See, we good. We cosign, cosign. Got the hotline, cosign. How did you get the name Hotline? I gave it to myself. Damn, how did you think of it? It's really not even a crazy story for real. Literally, Hotline Bling came out, and I was really like listening to that song, like, damn, my Hotline do be blinging. He really spitting some facts in this bitch for real. You know what I'm saying? I could really, I could really tap in with showing that song, and then that little meme that they had of him when he was dancing, like that shit took me all the way. Out. I was laughing at that bitch for hours. So I was like, you know what? This song really, this song really, I really fuck with this song. It's go, it's just gotta be my name. I was like, hey Hotline, you know what I'm saying? That's hot. I like that. Thank you. I like that most, bro. I hate I hate when you ask somebody like, yeah, how did you get the name Percocet? And nigga hit you with the, yeah, I was just in like I was studying, meditating, and on just, some <laughs> random shit like it just came to my head like. Nah, bro. But nah, I got a story with my shit. That's some real shit. That's definitely clever. That's definitely clever. Well, it's nice to finally meet you, Hotline. Definitely, definitely. I know, I know it was fucking. This has been a long dreaded interview, but it's here. Yeah, you he was bluffing on the kid. Now I'm here, it? present, in person. <laughs> I'm a, I'm 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 a, I call myself a trippy a triple B oh wait oh wait uh, I'll call myself a BBN. Break it down. Busy Baltimore nigga. Facts. So you know what that means. Facts. No printer. You got that. <laughs> you got that. I get that to you. Okay. Okay. So before we go get to all the blue face bullshit, mm-hmm. let's talk about you, like as a person first. So who who are you? Where are you from? Where's Where's this Baltimore female from? I mean, I'm from the city, went to the county, was really raised in the county for real. What part of the city, though? Like, like, I don't really, like, know oh, the specific, was, like, I was a baby, was like, yeah, so like, raised. yeah, like, I was, okay. I was born in the city, like, I was there when I was, like, a little wee lad and shit, like, oh. four or five, like, I don't really know where I'm at for real, okay. you know what I'm saying, moved up to the county when I'm, like, six, so that's where I really was at. Yeah. Can but you turn her down? Yeah. yeah, so I was in the county for a hot minute, then I moved, then I'm still in the county, but I'm like in Woodlawn, so it's like in between the middle for real. But Okay, so that's where you grew up? Woodlawn. Yeah, basically. That's how, that's the place where I moved at. That's the place where I moved to. Why do you like, so talk about your childhood growing up. How was it? Was it cool? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I had a decent childhood. I feel like, like from like birth to... <laughs> 
14 was lit as a was lit as a motherfucker for real for real. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Doing that. What makes you feel like that? Cause like I was just living like I was really just doing whatever I wanted to do. Like I was really a sneaky little ass kid. Like I already told my mother everything, so that's what I'm saying. I don't care. Like I already told my mother to her face. I'm like, look, ma, when you when you was you know going to work and all that, I was sneaking out, running the streets, doing Damn. all that. Yep, I Real did all that. that. I, hey, look, I, I kept it a beat. I kept it a beat with my mother, so she <laughs> she know what's up. Like I was out there having fun. Like I just remember playing with the kids all day. Like you don't worry about nothing. Like you don't worry about no bills. You don't worry uh-huh. about no. Oh, my shoes clean or something like that. Is my head done? You're not worried about stuff like that. You just outside, just running around. We used to play manhunt all Hell night. Yeah. Like I'm just jealous of my nephews and nieces. They be playing fucking Fortnite. Fuck Fortnite. And nah, TikTok. no, for real. Apex. You like TikTok? I mean, I like TikTok. TikTok don't like me. I'm trying. I'm trying to blow up. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get on all platforms. Okay. So okay, you 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 a better person than me. I'm just like fuck TikTok. Like <laughs> it's not that bad though. TikTok really be cracking me up sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. She a TikTok activist. It's like that. Like some TikToks <laughs> will really have you crying tears out your eyes. Like you watch that bitch four, five, six times. Like. Send it to four, five, six people. Like God damn. TikTok, really that like eight million views, eight all that shit type shit. God damn, man, I ain't never. No, nah, I didn't have some TikToks that really changed my life. Like I didn't have to oh, save them shit. for real. Like, they spitting facts on there, like um, knowledge that you didn't know about low like, health care hacks and this stuff. App real quick. Not yeah, exactly. Cause <laughs> for real, they be putting you on, teaching me how to lay the wig. You see the you see the wig. Come on now. I don't know. By I don't me, know what come on about, now. But she's shaking her head. So like, yeah, I come on now. Teach you how to put a wig here. on all that. Like that's hot. That's hot. I guess I need to. I need to go on TikTok, huh, Shadi? Most definitely. <laughs> Follow me at a hotline. You heard her. You too. <laughs> chop chop. I, I don't got the app. It's still I'm downloading. Dead. It's I'm still dead. downloading. It's still like you know how that shit. Oh kinda, right. Oh still, right. Oh It's like right. it's like halfway type oh shit. Right. It's like, no, but um, okay, so. Who who was hotline in high school? What high school did you go to? Franklin. Franklin. All the way out, Ricers Town. Yeah, I know. Right, show you that Ricers. Yeah, cause mm. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I am I ain't fuck with that school like that. Damn, why? Wow, what's wrong with it? The school was just so corny. Like it was so full <laughs> of people that wanted to be like other people, and I hate that. Like I like when people be their authentic self. Like even if you weird, be weird. You feel me? But be the weirdest motherfucker. You feel me? Do what you gotta do. Like don't try and be somebody else. Don't put on a front. Don't act like you like them when you not. Don't act like you got money. You don't. Don't act like you you get females when you don't. Like it was a lot of it was a lot of fronting, and I could see it with my own two eyes. I literally had. Three, four friends throughout high school the whole time. So Did not talk to people. And you only fuck with people that was that self. Like, so you was like, you kind of like. For real, literally. That's the type of person you were. I like, yeah, I like people that's authentic in themselves. Like, every, I feel like a lot of people just be looking at stuff and be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that. And they become like. Whole copy and paste machines. That precisely, <laughs> like, be yourself. Yeah, hit the round of applause again. <laughs> be yourself. It's a, it's a, in the background, it's a round of applause. You don't hear it, but it's okay. cool. You're going to hear it when you listen back to it. All right. <laughs> Uh yeah, that's that's you basically right. Um, that's that's good to know about you. Like that's that's a good foundation to like you know what I mean. Figure out who Hotline is before it's just like all the other shit. Right. So let's let's start it easily. Let's start it simply. Like, tell me tell me about what was happening around your life when you when the whole shit was going on when they was casting that made you want to cast or somebody that told you to cast. So don't ain't nobody tell me. I'm an investigator. You feel me? Somebody died. <laughs> Trust and believe, I find out. I might have to pursue that. I just don't feel like going to school for all that time, you feel me? But I'm an investigator for real. So with that being said, I found out about the whole blue. I, I seen season one, seen season two, and then he was auditioning for season three. I had just quit my job, so I'm like, I got nothing but time, money, opportunity, <laughs> space, efficient, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, I ain't doing nothing, so I might as well audition, right? Put out the little first little video. And I'm thinking like, mm, you know, the little blog pages love doing what the blog pages do, reposting the girls' videos. Oh, who y'all like? And they talking shit in the comments. All like, oh yeah, no, 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 skip her, skip her. Trying to be funny and stuff like that. I ain't even tell nobody auditioning because I'm like Baltimore hating that city. Like I already know once I tell people I'm auditioning, they they really try to play in my face. Like I only got okay. time for that. They gonna wait till you turn your back. Like yo, she ain't gonna get on that. Exactly, it, precisely. So that's why I tell nobody. I did that on the sneak tip, just audition. So. 
he had um, DM me. He was he's like, you got to make an OnlyFans and send it to me on OnlyFans. So, boom, made the OnlyFans, sent it to him. He actually DM me on Instagram, and he was like, okay, you made it to the second round. I said, I know you motherfucking lying. Second round? Yeah, it was rounds of that shit. What? <laughs> you talking about, like, Olympic games? I don't like? know. I don't know what the criteria like, was. You had but to, like, what, like, what you had to do? You had to, like... He down, said, he said to... make a video with... Your name. Wait, wait, wait. This is the second round. Yes. So the first round, you just got to end the video the regular shit like everybody else know. Yeah. Okay. So now we got the second round. What happened? The second round, he like, okay, I want you to send another video. Basically, just say your name, your Zodiac sign, your age, where you from, and why you want to be on the show. So I made a little video again. Send it to him again. What'd you say? Why Why you say you want to be on the show? I think I said I wanted to be on the show because I'm lit. You need somebody like me on your show. Hasn't been somebody like me on your show yet. And I, and I, I got something to, like, show for. Like, I got talent for real. Like, I can do multiple things, many things. You be skating. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I skate skate. Like, I'm, I'm not no... I'm give you some sauce. I'm you know what I'm saying? Sauce. I... I skate, yeah. I have skate skate. It's not no roll belt. Yo, when not, Adam just rolled over that shit, I'm like... I'm like, are you not hearing what I'm saying? My man? But he's, you know what I'm saying, white. So, you know, I wasn't really surprised, you know what I'm saying? It's on it's certain people that really understand skate culture because it's still some it's still some people that think skating don't exist. I'm Nigga, telling my skate and they be whole, like, "You skate?" It's a whole skating like part of Event. my family. That's like that's like it's like it's generations like this part of the family has been skating. Like, <laughs> what? 30 years. They still have events every every year like Thousands of people come out to skate in one in one city. And this nigga said something five twenty. Like nigga, can you even? You, this is not no fucking skateboarding. Yeah, he was just trying to play in my face for real. So I was just like, we gonna bypass this topic. <laughs> Where the fuck was the blue face at that whole time in that interview? He was at a concert. He left us in the house, didn't tell us nothing. We was literally sitting in the house all day. Mind you, I think we was in the house for like two days. When we're in, when we in the house, we can't get our phones. So we in the house with eighteen bitches. Not that much food, Hold on, whoa, alcohol, whoa. And weed. Whoa, 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 was right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We need to take it back. We need to take it back. We getting too far deep. We not ready yet. <laughs> we we still we, we ended up talking about the second round, nigga. <laughs> Where the fuck? What happened? Like, tell us to go back to you. So you said the second round. You talking about why you wanted to be on there? And boom, what happened? Boom, play. So he DM me and he was like, "Oh well." I'm a um I'm a, I want to put you on the show. I'm gonna need to see more on him. I'm gonna need to see if you really like that for real. So he like sent another video. I'm like, what do you say in the next video? Like we went in the next video. I'm like, God damn, how many videos you want? So you know what I'm saying? I just felt like you were sending dick pics. Nah, he wasn't sending nothing. I was sending all the. I was sending all the. No, I'm saying that's how you felt. Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I'm like, I'm dropping these every week. Like you, my dude, or something like that. Like God damn, but I just dropped a little trick video for real. You know, shook a little tail feather. And, and he was like, "Yep, you know what I'm saying? You chosen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let you know Damn, you got your flight details." Nigga said you chosen off the cheeks. I mean, they really, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. They small but mighty. I ain't, oh, for 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 um for investigation evidence. We need to see that video. For investig, I don't even think I got the video no more <laughs> because like, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was on Instagram and he unfollowed me, so I unfollowed him. So I don't even, you know what I'm saying, got that no more. I don't know what the hell is going on. That shit sound like a bomb, though. Yeah, I was about to say. What's, what, yeah, that shit happened every... And the plane every, going? Like, what's going on? We don't the know. The world ending? It happened <laughs> every now and then. Like, it just... But, yeah, so... Okay, so he picked you off... He picked you off the cheek video, right? Mm-hmm. That shit crazy. And then... So what's next? What next? You, did he send you the flight? Or you had to pay for the flight? Nah, he definitely flew us out. He was like, Damn. I'm going a, I'm to a hit you. 18 bitches out. I mean, he I got money like that. It's good. I didn't mean to say it like that. It just came off the tongue. I'm sorry. Nah, I be saying that all the time. I say, I let it. I be like, it was 18 bitches in the house. Yup. <laughs> it was 18 bitches in the house. So he, so what, like, all right. So, all right, let's just finish, finish explaining it. So you sent the cheek video. He said you chosen. What's next? So he was like, you know, don't say nothing. If you say something, you disqualify, you eliminate it, right? So I had to keep it on the hush hush. I only told my best friend and my sister for real. I kept it on hush hush, like hush hush hush, cause you know what I'm saying I'm gonna close my mouth. Ain't ain't about shit. So when he like, okay, well, I'm about to send y'all y'all flight details. Send me the flight details, and that's when I knew it was real. 
So then, you know what I'm saying? I packed my bags, got my hair did, my lashes did, my nails did. So how much did you pack? Did you pack, like, your whole shit, your whole catalog? Hell no. I got hella clothes. I mean, I feel girls got a lot of clothes. Hella clothes. Oh, we only had, we only needed three weeks worth of clothes. I brought three weeks worth of clothes. I brought a couple bathing suits. Um, You know what I'm saying? Brought, like, a little toothbrush, a little toiletry, shit know, like that. I don't know how girls have so many goddamn... I only got one pair of swimming trunks. This like. is the funniest part about that, though. I'm mad you really asked me about what I brought, though, because at the time, I didn't have any luggage. Because every time I travel, I travel light. I'm only going somewhere for three, four days. I don't need no big, no big ass luggage. Yeah. So the only thing I had was an Under Armour duffel bag. Oh, so hell I had no. the stuff three the hoopa, weeks. The hoopa, like the yep, hoopa. <laughs> yep. I had the stuff three weeks worth of clothes in that bag, Bro. and I had another backpack, and that and that hold the little rest of stuff. And I had to lug that through the airport. Like That's I didn't, it. I didn't have the wheelies. I had to, I had to hold oh, it. It was like fifty no. pounds on me. Even flat. I felt like a military. Because you, you know, know you what I'm saying. You gotta weigh that shit before you go in there. Exactly. <laughs> Luckily, he he paid for the little checking bags too. You know what I'm saying. He Damn. got a nigga right. You know what I'm saying. Damn. I ain't had to pay for nothing. I just pulled up. And was like, what flight yeah. service was it? I think it was Southwest. No, I think it was either United or American. It was either United or American. But yeah, he he, he was complaining about them flights. He didn't use bro. He wasn't playing with the fight. He really, like, it's like Blueface has money, but he just so picky with sp- spending it. It's like, he was he was, he knew what to spend money on because we was in that, like, you're right. I'm about to go off all topic. Go ahead. Ask, <laughs> ask the next off. question. Okay. I'll ask the next question. See, see why I said I be doing the most right, talking yeah. so I take my shots before? I don't, bro, like, that's what, bro, if that's what I'm saying, that's why I'm kind of happy we don't get to smoke in here, because, like, imagine if we was smoking right now, bro. You crazy, I'd be in it. <laughs> I would be, bro, I would not, I could not do this interview. We'll, this shit just be turned into a kickback. Like, nah, hey, for like, real, <laughs> <laughs> laughing, all that. But, all right, okay, so, you fucking, you, you got a flight, and he, you packed your duffel bag wall to wall, like the Chris Brown song, and next <laughs> Next thing you know, you at the airport and you're on the flight and you land. What's next? You at the airport. So this is so crazy. So there was this man that I, I I rode on a plane with. I sat next to him and he was talking to me throughout the flight. You know, he was a cool, we was chatting it up for real. He was cool. He was a vibe. He's peeped that I ain't had no luggage, right? And he'd been to LA hella times, he told me. So it's my first time going to LA. So and you already know LAX is big as a big as a bitch. I didn't know that. It's it's you ever been to like Cedar Point? Yeah. It's bigger than Cedar Point. The fucking airport bigger than Cedar Point, basically. Like that airport is big. And and Blueface just gave us the most basic ass direction. He all like, get off the plane, get on the shuttle bus, <laughs> go to here, and go to, to the Marriott, be there by twelve. Whole time niggas got off the plane at eleven fifty four. Oh shit. <laughs> So I'm like, God damn. <laughs> and I already know everybody plane didn't arrive because everybody from different places. Hell like, yeah. there's another girl that only showed us from Baltimore and we was on different planes. So, you know what I'm saying? I already know everybody Wait, what's, was. What's her name? Uh, Zoe. Yes. Zoe. Oh, you just rolled your eyes. We ain't, we ain't, that's next topic. All we right. talking about I'm, the plane. I'm putting it in my pocket right now. Let me put it in my pocket. Look, you may forget what we was talking about. What we was talking we about? We talking about the plane you just landed and you talking about beating you. It's, it's 11.54. Right, so the man was holding my bags for me, and he was helping me throughout the airport. And I was so, so gracious, because that bag was so, so goddamn heavy. He was holding my bags for me, carrying me, like, helping me through the airport, trying to find my, trying to help me find the other blue face girls, right? I had found, like, three girls. This is just a random nigga. A like, random, a random nigga. And he, he over here, like, yeah, shorty, you text him again. Literally, holding oh, it, shit. like, literally, like, oh. What's it, you know, remember his name? He never told me his real name. He just told me his little government. I mean, his government. He told me his like little little Nickname. street name. Like it was Smoke. Oh, this nigga wasn't up to no good going to L.A. Nah, Shout out to Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, cause I fuck I fuck with y'all for real. Like I fuck. He with know y'all. how to treat women for real. You should have gave that nigga your Instagram. Like Yo. I did. <laughs> you already. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. I like to hear it. He got me right. He really, he really helped me throughout that bitch for a whole hour and thirty minutes. Cause he was like, "Oh, it's my birthday today, but I don't have nothing to do until like four hours, so I can help you with this." So I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I know that, I nigga. thought that nigga was a good nigga like me, but fuck that, that nigga better than me. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday, I would have been like, "Shorty, come to the ball." Like, 
I'm not. I, I'm not about to say it, hold your bags. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I would have been a whole nigga like he did that though. And shout he out to smoke. He definitely did help me find them girls. Once I found the girls, he was like, "All right, well." And I told him that I was gonna be on the show. I wasn't gonna have my phone, so I wasn't gonna be able to contact him. I said, "I'll, I'll hit you." You know what I'm saying? When I get back home, he niggas like, really confiscated type shit. He took our phones right when we got in the fucking van. Not even when you walked through the front door. Nope. Right when we got to the van, he said, "He look. This is the crazy part about it, right?" Oh, wait, wait. We didn't get there yet. We didn't get there yet. <laughs> so. So the great almighty smoke mm -hmm. helped you through the airport, helped mm -hmm. you find the girls when it was so confusing, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. Then what? So found the girls. It was only like four of them. Found them. And then, right, so we was waiting for this little shuttle bus to take us to the hotel that we supposed to meet Blueface at. Mm -hmm. So like three of the girls were already at the hotel in the little party bus waiting, like just sitting there. So we like, God damn, how these bitches already get there? So now we everybody already got added to we irritated. The shuttle bus keep running past us. We clearly not in the same like LAX is so weird. We not in the right spot for the fucking bus to pick us up. So <laughs> like like niggas just really irritated. Like we was outside for at least an hour waiting for this fucking shuttle so bus. So y'all basically was late for the twelve o'clock mark. Yes. <laughs> yes. We didn't get to that bitch till like one something. You feel God me? damn and so, they waited for you? Yeah, hell yeah. What the what? I'm just saying, I thought they fucking left you. you mm -hmm. to they gonna do the show with three bitches? It was 18 bitches. And you know why it was 18 bitches? Because he said he didn't know 18 bitches was dead ass gonna show up. He said yes to 18 bitches. And he was like, oh, well, I thought, you know what I'm saying, two like or 12. three of y'all, two or three of y'all was gonna bluff. <laughs> if you paying for bitches' flights, who's bluffing? He didn't say bluff, though. He's not from Baltimore. Well, yeah, but you know what you know he said, something like yeah, that. Something think, like that. I didn't think all y'all really try, gonna Don't try, because you try and see where Blueface got that bottom one talk. Don't even want, don't even You're do right. that. He definitely he don't, don't deserve that respect. Definitely don't. You don't, don't, you don't deserve that respect. <laughs> definitely don't. <laughs> all right, so it's one bumblefuck. And find the girls, y'all get together, y'all find a party bus athlete. Yeah, so we all on the party bus, right? So this one I see, this one I see Sky. That's what that was her name on the show, but her name's Zoe. Okay. So I see Zoe. Mind you, Zoe was talking shit all on the little underneath the little blog pages about and who? shit like that. About me. Because me and her had beef. Me and her went to the same high school. Me and her had <laughs> Y'all both went to Frederick. Okay, now you're now you're trying to play because I definitely said Franklin. You're now you're trying to play. Oh, I'm now sorry. Now you're trying to play. I'm that sorry, was cute. I'm sorry. Not Frederick. I'm sorry. The eighteen the eighteen hundred is kicking in. Franklin, Frederick, tomato, tomato, hey, right now. Yo, I ain't gonna I'm lie. So dead. Franklin. Yes, we had beef because she was all like, she was all like, you you were being my friend, smiling in my face, and then next week you were fucking with my nigga. Da 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 da. In high school. In high school. And she pressed about that in 2022. She. I don't even. She don't, said that in 2022. She said, yo, she's still saying that shit to this day. And I'm like, bro, if you don't get the fuck you're talking over about, it. You talking about Tuesday the 15th? Type shit. Niggas don't, neither one of us fuck with this nigga no more. So I'm like, what is you so pressed about, shorty? Like, you ain't like, you still fuck with that. He must have had that good, good. Uh, No, he didn't. On that <laughs> like, oh. you know what, let me. <laughs> Damn, all right, all right. I don't, I'm let not, me die. I'm, I'm sorry, not, let me I'm not want to hear about none of that shit. <laughs> and, uh, nigga talk that shit about female. All right, so. You get on the bus, and Zoe. Yeah, so she so she was she was talking shit already on OnlyFans and 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 underneath the blogs and all that shit. So I was like, I came to her as a woman. I'm like, yo, you was talking hella shit on the blogs. Like I told you, I was gonna rock you and get shit right here, right now. But you sitting up here talking to me now, like you don't got a problem. She all like, yeah, dummy, I was just trying to get on the show, and I'm glad you got on the show too. We both did what we had she to do. Said, dummy. Yeah. Oh. She from Baltimore. But that, that don't mean you get to use dummy every other word, though. Well, <laughs> she was saying every other word. I don't know if you watch the show. She was saying every other word. I know. Word. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was putting on for, I was trying to put on for Baltimore, but I wasn't trying to make us, like, so Baltimore. Like, bro, like they talk so much shit about us. So I'm like. They do, bro. I'm like, okay. Nigga, 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 nigga asked you, yeah, you from Baltimore? So, you know, Tina Trump? Who right. the fuck Who? is Tina Trump? Who the fuck you a fuck about Tina Trump? Like, you could have. I don't even know Bro, who you could have said, but that bitch like, from you feel the other me? side like, of Baltimore. No, I don't even. I didn't even know that bitch was from Baltimore. You feel I me? I didn't even know that bitch. Period. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. I'm like, is that Trump daughter? Like, I'm. I'm really confused. And then they were like, no, she a porn star. I'm like, nah, I, don't, I ain't never seen Shorty. I had to Google Shorty because I didn't know who that was. Don't tell me you looked it up after. I mean, I didn't. No, I probably looked it up at the at the at the podcast because he gave us our phones then. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga really gave me your phones, bro. Only when we was outside. So no, so all right. So before we keep going with the story, we got to. I need. I need to ask one question about the phones. You telling me this nigga like I'm not. All right. So he took the phones. Was there any bitches that was? Like, I'm sorry. Fuck. I keep saying bitches. I'm sorry. Was there any females? Was there any young black girls 
that was like, oh, you don't pay my phone bill. Here's my shit. No, nah, everybody was like, they going to chalk that phone up for real because they knew what it was. If you wasn't going to get that phone up, you wasn't going to be on the show. So they knew what it was. So nobody wasn't like. Shit, I gave my shit up willingly. I said, look. I'm trying to get away from these motherfuckers. You just let niggas know, like, like yo, I'm, said, not gonna like, yeah, I'm not going to have my phone. I'm not going to have my phone, so don't text my phone expecting a response. Like, Damn, niggas felt like they was in high school getting like, yeah, my mother about to take my shit. All right, chill. <laughs> you got fucking jokes, chill. It's like, no, I'm sorry, that shit. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, you get on the bus, show you talking shit. She's not even really talking shit. I'm talking my shit. I'm like, I was going to Oh, run. you like, this like, yeah, this I'm like, like after you saw what she was doing on the blog and shit. Yeah, this is us finally seeing and each other in, in person after all this shit in high school. After her talking shit on Instagram. High school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So now I'm running her shit and she all like, I'm talking to her and I'm all like, yeah, I was really going to run your shit for real, but now you talking to me like you want on some kumbaya shit. She like, Oh yeah, I didn't know that you made the show too. I'm happy you made the show too. Now we both can put on for Baltimore. I wasn't really, I ain't mean all that shit for real. I was just saying it so I could get on the show, get more clout, and look what happened. Now we both on the show, so now we can get lit together without a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. That's fine and dandy. I ain't gonna run in your shit. It's cool. We, we, I'm, a, I'm, a, I match energies for real. That's what Virgos do. I match energies. Whatever type time you on, and you know, I'm gonna fill it out and see what's good, and I'm gonna match that. So I wasn't about to just like I, I told her to her face. I said I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought I was gonna have to smack you right when I walked up these steps but you know what i'm saying you want to be cool niggas can be niggas can be cool see i'm a leo i sneak a nigga i don't give a fuck yeah i was i swear i t- I, I told nigga, her to her I face with this like yeah bah! Oh, <laughs> you crazy you crazy that's mm. I do that shit if I'm really mad. Though. I wasn't really mad. I just wanted Shorty to say say it to my face. But then when I'm, I'm in her face, she all she like, oh, like, I just wanted to get on the show and it worked. Da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, bet, fine, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted that. I, I like in-person energy. All that behind the screen shit don't mean nothing. Anybody got Twitter fingers. That shit don't mean nothing. I want to see that in-person energy. So when I see that person, she want to build some kumbaya shit. I'm like, all right, bet. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to watch you, though. And we ended up boxing. So I know. So, all right. You spoiled it. <laughs> Cause it's probably it's probably a mountain of certain motherfuckers that just followed your Instagram, didn't watch the show, and they seeing this. So well, they gonna want to see that. They gonna want to see that match. They definitely was getting down. Sure, you, we we, b- you b- definitely we definitely we one time. Leave. Fuck is you right. talking about? All right, all right, all right, all right. Before we get there, all right. So she was talking that shit and she was on that kumbaya shit. What's next? So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody cool, fine and dandy. She get to argue with some other bitches for real. She just arguing with like two bitches for real. But I'm out of my business because my name Ben and I ain't in it. I came here with my solo dolo, so I ain't fighting for nobody. Fuck is you talking about? Ain't nobody showing me no loyalty yet. So I'm on my I'm on my P's and Q's. So I'm getting drunk. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. Wait, when did you get you Oh, talk? I ain't tell you. Blue face the that nigga wasn't good for nothing but alcohol and weed. Like that's what I'm saying. Like he had the blunts already ready. In the like the, in the party the, van. In the party the van. Airport. Fresh off the airport. In the party van. I'm drinking Duce Casa. Oh fucking. Oh, no. Y'all mixing. Y'all mixing. Everything. He had bottles on bottles. He passing blunts around. He like, I got the weed. Who who roll up? Who know how to roll? I'm like, I'm 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 Queen Perla, baby. Pass yo, this me bitch up. like yo, who know how to roll? Pat. Period. I said I'm queen <laughs> pearl out this bitch and I per- yo what? So so like all right, I definitely noticed that is it was definitely a lot of mixing drinks around here. So it was like was bitches like was was they recording? They wasn't record. Was was it a part in the morning that they wasn't recording when bitches was like? I, mean, I keep saying bitches. My mother was just talking to me about this literally today. All right, was it a part when the females like after y'all was having drink mixed drinks that in the morning that y'all was sick? Um, not really. I ain't gonna lie to you. The bitches that I fuck with didn't really drink like that. They only got like busted like a few nights. I got more busted than them, but I know how to hold my liquor. But I ain't really talked to too many other bitches in the house, so I ain't really check up with them if they was getting sick or not. For I could definitely real. tell. <laughs> you feel me? Like I really stuck with the same two bitches. You seen it like all season basically. Like I wasn't really. I mean, it was other bitches I talked to, yeah. but like kicked it with on a regular basis, slept in the same room with, smoked with. Eight wit. Nah, it was only two bitches. Okay, so you ain't you ain't witness waking up in the morning and you ain't Fuck no. Fuck, Fuck no. Them bitches was handling that liquor and weed. Them bitches was like that. Oh shit, never mind then. All right, so keep going. So he had the he had he had the he had the blunts and drinks already in there. So you you already drinking this in the party bus, so Finish your story. Niggas go to Walmart to go get like toiletries and shit like that. Fresh Bedding, out the airport? Fresh out the airport. He didn't even like, y'all hungry like. No. 
And I damn sure was hungry. I know you, bro. That's a Baltimore to L.A. Was it a straight flight? It was. I was bro. on that bit. Neck hurting. I ain't had no neck pillow. Look, I'm not a. I'm not a flyer. I'm a driver. I hop in the whip <laughs> any time. Road trip on me, baby. You heard me. Yes, well, not now with gas being you know four saying four fifty, but when it was like you know what I'm saying two two thirty and shit like that. Yeah, road trip <laughs> on me. You know what I'm saying. I love a good road trip. So flying, I don't got no neck pillow. I don't got none of that neck stiff and shit. Like get off the plane, hungry and shit. I had you know what I'm saying. I had some people send me some money so I get some shit out the airport. But that airport food nasty. Taxing too. Taxing for nothing. Taxing. Nasty. I had a fucking Bro, glizzy. I brought two bottles of water. That shit was eleven dollars. That that bottle of water, yeah, they about six fifty. <laughs> about six fifty. Bro, fuck out of here. Talk about some. I'm drinking this water like man. It's not, I didn't, it's not, I didn't plus hit. tax. Tax my black ass. All right. So you at the Walmart? What you getting at the Walmart? Like, what's going? I, I know, bro, was so that is that when the bitch was fighting in the Walmart? Is that a different time? No, that was that time when we went to Walmart that first fresh time. Fresh off the airport. Fresh off the airport, <laughs> bitches. Because bitches was drunk. We was in the party bus. I knew y'all drinking. was fresh off the airport, but I didn't know that y'all was like getting lit. Fresh off the airport, this nigga pouring pouring bottles in bitches mouths like for real, like fresh bitches off the airport. Is jet, bitches I'm, is already drunk. Bitches is jet lag drunk. <laughs> Tired, hungry. You feel me? That's why majority of these problems happen because bitches was all of those things. So I don't even know why they started fighting for. Her. I didn't even see that fight. Literally, I didn't know they was fighting till we got back to the bus and they're like, "Oh my god!" And they get and they in the and they in the uh, they in the van arguing with each other. And I'm like, "Damn, what happened to her wig? Her wig off?" I'm like, "Damn, what happened?" So yeah, I don't even I didn't even see the fight till they till till the show aired. And when I seen that, I was so fucking did when a girl <laughs> threw the toy at her nigga yo. not a toy truck through the through the box and then the people in the comments really had me there they said that toy on clearance now yo that shit had oh, me oh hell crying. no hell no nigga a nigga that worked there probably took that shit home like yeah it's broke really it's damaged make shorty upside the head with that bitch yo, like that, that's that probably shit the was cleanest the shit. cleanest hit like that's better than it's like some w that was on some wwe shit that's like, all that the shit fighting clean like and then Bodine came in and on some superhero shit and really tackled both of them to the ground like that. that no, that was the wildest part. Like you don't got tackled, bitch. That like. that was some Bodine was so funny, yo. Bodine was so fucking funny. But okay, so you you walked into Walmart. All right, you walked in the Walmart. You went to the Walmart. You already lit shit shopping. Was you buying shit that you didn't need? No, you, I was getting shit that I needed. I know. Excuse me, I forgot a brush. I got a brush. We needed bed shit, sheets, pillows. Got all that shit. I know. I remember. I needed some deodorant. <laughs> I got. Well, I was getting some lotion. I had got some Vaseline. You know what I'm saying? I got everything I needed. Was bitches getting candy? I mean, was females getting candy? I don't know what other what other females was getting. <laughs> I just know what I was getting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the person to look up to the left and the right. Look at other. Nah, I be eyes on my own paper type okay. shit. So right, I wasn't understand. worried about the next bitch. So you got your toiletries and sheets, mats and brushes and all this and that. You leave the we leave the Walmart. Play. So we get back in the car. They all chance. I think I think the two bitches I was fighting in Walmart, they was keep arguing and shit like that. I don't really remember, like, you know what I'm saying? I smoke a lot, so my memory not all the way there. <laughs> I remember shit. a little did it remember a little details cool. like that. But all all I do remember is when we got back to the house, I was walking up. And I'm like, Blue, you trying to help me? Like, this bag heavy as shit. I had to lug this bitch through the airport. He's like, you got it. You been lugging it this whole time? I'm like, oh, you that type of nigga? God damn. Yo, he said it to your face. I went, yeah, hell yeah. I'm like, I went from a nigga that was lugging my shit for a whole hour to a nigga that can't even lug it up the goddamn steps. God damn. You should have called him like, smoke. I, he took my phone. Oh, he did take your shit. Took my phone. So, so like, was bitches really going through? <laughs> <laughs> Was females going through postpartum depression without that phone? I mean, I feel like I was for sure, but um, I'm pretty sure other people was. Like, being on your phone, like, just keeping up with shit. Like, somebody died while we was in the house, and we didn't even know. I forget who died, but... The girl that was with Beyonce and stuff. Was Tria? I don't care. I don't think... Not I don't care! <laughs> I no, I don't care. No, I don't think it was her, but somebody died in the house. No, wait. As long as it's not Young Thug. I, young Thug didn't die? I'm just saying, as long as it's not him, I don't care. I think it might have been, I don't know who it was. Somebody died in the house. Like, oh, it was um, Dolph. 
both died while we was in the house and we didn't even fucking know so that was all yup yup we was in the house and we found out like two whole days later and we like don't Bruh, did, was happened? they playing? Was they playing more Dolph? No, oh, the only thing they played no. in that motherfucking house was Blueface shit, fucking DDD shit, fucking right, so, his little homeboy right. shit. Before we go any further, you're not there anymore, so you don't got you. You not you not um persuaded to say anything good or bad. Hell yeah. So you just bumming Blueface shit. What is your Baltimore opinion? Honestly, I fucked with Blueface before the whole show, before the whole any of that shit, before I wanted to be on the show or any of that shit. Like when he came out with Tatiana, I was like, I felt him on that bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you. Then when he threw Cardi on that bitch, and that's when Cardi was my favorite rapper at the time, I was like, this bitch out banging. She's Cardiana. Oh, my kid. Mommy, yo, she was burning that bitch. I, I ain't gonna lie. That, that track hard. That track definitely went platinum, gold, premium, whatever the fuck. I don't so, know what the fuck, okay. but they deserve that shit. That so bitch was hard. Was they, I've been fucked with Was her. they playing Unreleased Blueface? No. He did play uh, some of his old shit that we forgot about, but he really just played shit with his little what, shit that, that his homeboys did. like Homeboys? Yeah, like Ken Dog, the little nigga that made the song that'd be like, oh, no, no, yeah, that, yeah, that, no. I don't know the fucking <laughs> nigga, but I like that song. <laughs> but but they played his song a few times, you know what I'm saying? They played designer songs a few times because he lived next door. I heard like, you talk about this. Was you really trying to fuck on designer? Though? What, tell me about that mission. Nigga was not trying to fuck on designer. I wanted designer to come to the house because, check this out, you know designer look like fucking Tiana Taylor um, um, husband, I forgot his name. His name like Iman or some shit like that. Them yeah, niggas that look. That nigga's a bucket. Don't disrespect him n- like that. But don't lie, designer and that nigga look just a fucking like them niggas that like is brothers. They them niggas like brothers. So I My wanted man, to see him in person. I really want to see him in person. Really like hold the picture up to him and be like, damn. Y'all really look alike. Like, yo, don't stop playing my mans. Yo, but hope, yo, I'm uh, pretty sure if you look up both a picture of them niggas, you'd be like, damn, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the same nigga. Them niggas look just a fucking like. And I point? also wanted designer to be like, I want, I want to hear him. I wanted to hear him from the mouth. You feel me? In person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt that nigga. I would have did that too. I want to catch it. But when nigga. he came to the house, he was talking to some other bitch. So I, I was like, all right, well. He didn't even say. Grr. No, he ain't say shit. He ain't say shit to me. He ain't he say. Didn't say he ain't even say. Ah, ah, ah. He, he ain't say, say nothing. Shit. He was on some dry shit. So I was like, Oh my god, designer. He ain't even. He ain't even hit you with the panda. Fucking the panda, 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 panda. Like that bitch was hard. That's what I'm, well, that bitch not hard. I would have if I was if I was you. No, for all the niggas looking at this, this is no homo. <laughs> if I was you, if I would now and I blue and designer walked in, I would have went to him be like, "Yo, can you come in my ear and say?" Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a shot on that one. I want to. <laughs> I want to say it in my ear. I don't got no more shots to take, shorty. I drunk on my shit. What a look at. You gonna hook the nigga up? You need some more? All right. Hopefully nobody booked this after us, so nobody gonna come banging on the door in five minutes. <laughs> but tomato, tomato. Um. All right. So we. All right. So let's finish the story. That's the main thing I wanna finish is the story. So you went to the Walmart. You got your shit. You left. Did you say what happened after that? Yeah, we, we went home. Oh, you went home. We went back to the house, brought the shit in the house. We oh, was yeah, he fun. said you didn't help me with your bag, and yeah. I started talking about that. Okay, all right, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, so he, we went up to the house, picked our rooms. This my cup? Thank you. Picked our rooms. Um, I had to end up rooming with fucking Zoe. Surprisingly, <laughs> Zoe. You did that shit on purpose. Uh, no, we picked our own rooms. I don't oh, know how her man. big ass got in our room. I ain't gonna lie to you. Four eleven is not big. She say four eleven or five. Zoe is six feet tall. Oh hell no! I thought he. I thought she said four eleven. There's another bitch on there that's four eleven. Zoe is six feet tall. So she be so she was on there like yeah I'm a hooper for real. No, she can't hoop. She can't hoop, but she's six feet. Yes. Oh my God! Call the police on Zoe. You know her last name, so we can go to the address. They can go do like a. a no, I don't know. I, I want to put her whole government out there. Oh like no, that. no, no, no! Don't say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna come to me. They gonna DM me like Chris. What did you do? Exactly. All right. So you get to the you get to the shit. You pick your room, and and ironically, you have a picture. You have a room with Shadi. All right. So tell me about that first night. 
I mean, I don't want to hear about I, what the camera caught. I want to hear about. I don't remember the first night. All I remember, Damn. I don't like. I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember the first night. I really for that whole experience, I only remember the key details, like because it was hella boring ass moments in there. Like the first night, all I remember is trying to figure out who I was ready to be cool with. Like I remember who was in my room. It was Zoe, Dago, um, Philly, Shaw. And two, three. I don't, I don't. I'm sorry. I know the bitches' names from the show. I don't know their whole government names. Nobody. I, they probably don't know your government name. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Those was the bitches that was in my room. So I was trying to figure out who I was gonna be cool with. And I was hanging around Philly a lot. So I'm like, okay, this probably ready to be my dog. But she was hanging around Shaw. So I'm like, okay, well, I can fuck with her. So I'm pretty sure this ready. I'm, I can fuck with them for real. So that's all I remember. But I know we got drunk that first night. I know we did. Duh. I that, know we did. Y'all got that job. Yeah, I don't remember having the first night though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Second night. Do you remember that night, Dave? Look, you won't look, I can only tell you certain parts. Like right, I can't tell, tell you day right, for day. So, we was okay. there for twenty one days. I, I understand. I, yeah, that makes sense. I, that makes sense. That's a lot of time. Twenty one days to remember. So And that shit was some months ago now, like damn near six months ago now. You know what I'm saying? I, like I, how that's my fault. I should've came. <laughs> I should've hit you up in I'm November. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> Fresh out, yeah. Fresh out the plane, like, yo, what you doing after we get it back? <laughs> but yeah, all right. So we got we got most of the important parts as far as like you getting accepted and the mm-hmm. process you had to go to. All right, so now we can get to you at the house. You already situated. You got your shit to shut up. All right, now we can get to the key moments. Tell me, let's let's hear some shit. Now I'm ready for you for you to start talking. Talking my shit. So basically, what I was saying was. Blue face was only good. I ain't gonna say he was only good for motherfucking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we um go further, we have to take a shot because she already poured a shot. We can't finish the shit. We ain't finished the cup. You know what I mean? She gonna be mad at me. Us. She's gonna be your fault too. I'm not gonna take the blame. You know what I mean? Yeah. So basically, what I was saying was, okay. blue face was only good for weed and alcohol. I ain't gonna say we ain't had no food, but food was scarce in that bitch. Nigga it was 18 said bitches. Scarce. 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 Food was scarce in that bitch. I lost at least at least ten pounds on that show. You lost? Like lost. And it lost. wasn't like no water weight type. Nope. Shit. Lost. So the first day, this is what I do remember for the first day. So I remember Bodine was telling us all this shit like, all right, y'all, we only got this amount of food. It's 18 of y'all. So we can't really, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't, y'all got to remember it's somebody else eating. So don't be going crazy. But bitches ain't give a fuck because bitches got here. So, you know what I'm saying? Bitches used to being at home with their own mamas and pappies and kids and doing what the fuck they want to do. So now they in a the house where they got to, they got to act Thank like it's scarce. Is. They don't know how to. So. He told, Bodine told us that on the first day that they had bought eight cases of water and that them water bottles were supposed to last us for at least like, you know, four or five days or something like that. What, ca- you mean like how many, like Cases, like, like, you know, like the 24 cases. They bought eight 24 cases of waters. They said that in the first day we, we drunk a hundred and something, some waters. Like a hundred. Eighteen females? Uh, yep. Them bitches. You gotta were, say bitches. I can't. Exactly. I bitches was going crazy. I, I promise you on my mama, I, I got two water bottles. Oh hell no! I got two, two water and, bottles, and the uh, on they said a hundred and something, something was missing. Like a hundred and six water bottles was drunk up and you missing. Look, you, but then when you go downstairs, I remember this part. I do remember because when I woke up the next day, drunk as shit, like you know what I'm saying, your head a little foggy, your vision a little foggy. <laughs> I'm looking at the counter. I'm like, wow. This place dirty as a bitch. Niggas been here one day. That counter was full of guts, weed, fucking ashes, half drunken water bottles, half cups like this everywhere, like everything. Like somebody had to clean that shit up because I promise you I had I I had two water bottles. And Bodino like So I'm over here count I'm calculating. So it's I'm, I'm look, I don't even know. Cause you know how you know you know what I'm 17. saying. You drunk you like, oh, I need some water. You drink three sips of that shit. You put that shit down. Now you like, you walk away. You twerking with the bitch in the corner. You playing basketball. The nigga had a basketball court in the house. Had a pool. Had a pool table. Had a hot tub. Had all the shit. Everybody exploring everything. So now you come back and you like, damn, which water bottle was mine? Four bitches and put a water bottle right here. Now I gotta get a new one. So yeah, you feel me? I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. So I wasn't really tripping. But after that first day, he was like, yeah, y'all on water restriction. I said, water restriction. He was like, each of y'all getting two water bottles and that's it. 
Like, y'all can grab y'all two, hide it, and that's it. I said, he said, y'all can get water out the fridge because they had the little, how you know. Long, how long was this two water bottle period? That shit was like that for like two weeks. No, I'm gonna say like Hold a week up. and a half. I'm talking. Wait, 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 wait. You talking about like? No, nah, he, he didn't give us a two water bottles for a week two, and a half. Oh, he told me he was like every, day. every like every day y'all can get like two water or something like that, and that's it. And I was like, damn, not that we rationing. I bet you y'all was conserving in that shit then, though. No, we rationing. Out y'all was conserving in that the shit. I was already. I, I started with the two. I'm not saying you, you was. I started with the two. Somebody was drinking. Somebody was so, getting. Yo, if my calculations is right. Somebody had to. It's one per. It's one female that had to get a new water bottle every half an hour. I'm calculating of like her first day, twenty four hours. I'm over this bitch. You know what I mean? And my calculations is never wrong. Um, Am I shit wrong? Dead. Am I shit wrong, shorty? My, I'm dead. My shit, my shit never wrong. I think I don't know what happened. This <laughs> was just drunk for real. So. All right, that, 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 I could definitely tell at a certain Drunk and point. high at that. You've you been crossfaded before? Like, you know, when the last time, though? Like, I'm talking about, like, Probably Cali really. weed. Oh, Cali weed. I never went to Cali. Cali weed. All right, so that's no one thing you didn't go to. All right, so you have a female, pers- a Baltimore female perspective on going to L.A., Cali, for the first time, and you get some za. Go. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. My plugs always get me right. Like, I only got, like, two or three that I call. Shout out to them. Shout out to them because okay. all three of my plugs got fucking gas. They're going to text you after sh- this, like, yo, thank you for shouting me Exactly. Up. <laughs> precisely. And they don't even be texting me. Like, they be basically charging me Cali prices, for real, for real. So, I don't even, it wasn't really nothing new to me, basically. Like, these other bitches was like, oh, my God, I'm so high. I'm like, honestly, I get this high all the time, baby. Like, the only difference was is that, you know, I'm in Baltimore. I'm at home. I might smoke three blunts, but I was out there. The weed was so plentiful. This nigga walked around with a, this, the bag, the bag is this big. You talking about, like, waste? The bag of weed. I'm measuring it. The bag of weed is this big. That's more than a pound. And he walking, exactly. He walking around the house just literally grabbing that bitch and putting in bitch's hand like, here you go. The bitch was like this? I was like this. I was bitches. I was bitches. I'm like, I thank brought, you. I would have brought my foot up. Like, hey, hey, I want some oh, more. Shit. What did you talk about? I was in that bitch like, yes, sir. Thank Man. you. He was giving us at least a Vic of weed every a day. Vic? For free. I was happy as a Fuck bitch. That. He got he, a no, week. no, no, no. But this is how he fucked up, though. This is how he fucked up, though. He gave us a Vic of weed every day, but he gave us one back one. I know you don't expect me to put five grams in one backwood. The most you can squeeze in a backwood on a good day, it's like and that backwood three, is perfect. Three no something. stems, nothing like that. <laughs> like, at the most, it's four grams. You four just gave me 5.5. What am I do with the other 1.5? So it was like, was y'all like doing ghetto trips to the gas station? It wasn't ghetto weed? trips, because every time we went out, we would stop at the gas station before. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bitches would go in there and get their yeah. leaves, get their shit. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. So but it's, he gave us one. Them. But the other ones, if you wanted like five, six, seven, eight, you had to get your own. But hey, look. Damn. I was taking Vic. this backwards. What are they talking about? I'm, shorty, go get my scale from the car. We need to weigh Hell that yeah. out. No, I ain't need to weigh it out. I can see that shit. That bitch was plentiful in my hands every time. I never Thank you, Blue. Plentiful. Plentiful. Shout out, shout out to Blue Face. I need to go fucking send a video to him or some shit. Nah. <laughs> like, you don't want to go in there. I'm like, nigga. You don't want to go in nigga, there, I'm, I got some shit to show. Put me on you there. You don't want to go in there, yo. I'm not going to. I don't know about sending a video of me shaking my ass. Oh, no. I can't even. Can't even, I, don't even I don't even like looking in my ass for like five seconds in the mirror when I get up the shower. Like, You're I, right. I can't even do that shit. I don't even know how you do it. It's fucking superpowers. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Enough about me. <laughs> okay, all right. So, talk about the key. Talk about the fucking goddamn. Oh, that's another question I want to ask. So, what type of food? He said it was like the food was scarce. What type yeah, of food? Yeah. So, <clears throat> was it like McDonald's fries? Chick-fil-A no, he wasn't fries? getting us food. Bodine, what he made Bodine the chef. That man Bodine was working. That man Bodine was working. He was cooking us breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Like, he would cook his breakfast in the morning. He would wake us up. He would come through, like, with the pan, pots and pans, like, <laughs> wake up, breakfast ready. Like, I feel like niggas was at motherfucking band camp or something. Like, what the fuck going on? Niggas got to wake up to eat breakfast. Yo, that shit definitely. Or, I, will, I didn't wake up to eat breakfast one time. I went downstairs, like, 12. Breakfast gone. Didn't eat that day. 
Like, what are you saying? Like, them bitches was... Uh, and then bitches would get a whole plate of food, eat three bites, throw the whole plate in the trash. Like, you would see whole food in the trash. Like, whole waffles, whole eggs, whole so home fries. So, basically, you missed out on... Like, all right. So, you ate breakfast. What was the next meal? I mean, most of the time, they would have shit in the fridge. Like, they would go to the store and buy, like, shit like fucking chimichangas and hot pockets and little dumb ass shit like that and buy a big ass variety pack and, and the little 32 pack 40 you said chimichangas chimichangas you feel me <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying like little dumb ass shit like that pack pack of noodles you know what i'm saying there would be shit like that like fucking oatmeal cream pies rice krispie treats little little snacks and shit like that with like we fucking kids by the way um, in the fucking house, and they'd be like, eat that for lunch. So so we would have, you know what I'm saying, majority for breakfast, we had a little Eggo waffles. Bodine would make that in the toaster oven or whatever, put them in the oven, whatever he fucking did. He would make us some home fries with some peppers in it. I ain't gonna lie, his little home fries was busting for I give him that. Little Chef Boardee head ass. They was busting for I give him that. He would make us some sausage and some bacon and some, like, turkey sausage for whoever don't eat pork or whatever. And, like, he would be, like, he would lay it out like it's fucking IHOP buffet or some shit like that. And we would just pick up our shit every day. And we and we would, like, literally walk down, like, walk down that bitch like Lunch fucking, line. Lunch line. 18, 18 females is a lot of females. Lunch line. Walking down that bitch getting a little scoop of something, like, trying to save some room for the next bitch type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I would be eating. I would be. I would get enough. I feel like I get enough to satisfy me, but not enough to you know what I'm saying. Really, I got, feel I got a full. food baby. You know what I'm saying. I like having a food baby. That's how you know you eating good. No cap. So you know what I'm saying. I had. To, I just had to eat to get satisfied. So this shit was just. That was lunch noodles. You know what I'm saying. I eat a little rice crispy treat. Eat a little. You know what I'm saying. Pop tart. <laughs> you know Pop-tart what I'm saying. Pop tart for lunch. For lunch. You know what I'm saying. As a little dessert. Lunch dessert. Then for dinner, sometimes he would make us food. He would, I think, I can't even remember what we ate. See, look, this how, is this how you fucked up. Because, damn. Sorry. Them 1800s is busting. <laughs> this is how you fucked up because I don't even remember what the fuck he was cooking us for dinner like that. But I remember we, I think one night we had like Alfredo. One night we he had was cooking burritos. That shit. Yeah, he was literally cooking what was that it, shit. What's his name again? Bodine. Bodine. Shout out to Bodine because he really made that bitch. Like, he was I really fuck with you, Bodine. He was feeding on like he his was own kids. He take care of us. For real. He was the, he was, he was the, he was he, would you consider him, so who, so if you had to pick out, don't you know how most niggas that be rappers, they have like his mans, that's the assistant. Who was the mans that was the assistant? Bodine. That Bodine was, was his right hand man. Bodine was really running that bitch. Cause when Blue wasn't there, we was listening to Bodine. Everybody would be like, "Where Bo? Where Bo? Where Bo? What he said? What he said? What we doing today? Ask Bo. Ask Bo." Like he had a few people there. He had Tiny. He had some light skinned nigga. I forgot. I think his name Remy. He had the little camera crew. My good man's Dex. Shout out to Dex. Fuck with you, Dex. Shout out Dex. My good man's um Tatum, Dave. You know Tatum? what I'm saying? Tatum. Yep. Oh, I thought you said Tatum. Nah, Tatum. Speaking of Tato, nigga, text me back. I'm trying to get an interview. Sorry. Fucking dead. My good man is Tatum. Love you, Tatum. You know what I'm saying? All them for real, like, they was looking out for the kid. Like, shit crazy, yo. That's okay. crazy. I didn't think I I didn't I didn't think that. I thought he was, they was ordering like carry out. I didn't think they had an actual nigga. That no, cooking. he was cooking for and it every was a day. Nigga. Like, it was a every nigga. day. It was probably like four nights out of the 21 days where they bought out food and it was like pizza every time and then that one what few, type of pizza he would order like like pepperoni cheese no i mean like pizza, pizza oh John's. my bad my bad domino's domino's that's not bad yeah hey, i fought with domino's for real so yeah i he thought would, he was about to hit me yeah. with the little caesars literally i would come to the house and it's like five bottles right there and then it was like six boxes of pizza and it's just like help yourself so bye good night yep god damn those nights was probably crazy so it was, so all right, we talked about we talked mostly about your experience. Let's talk about the shit that we kind of not supposed to talk about. I'm gonna ask you this: woman to man, was females fucking blue? DTF on the first day. I don't know if they was down to fuck on the first day, but I do know bitches definitely was fucking blue. Blue would definitely fuck like at least sixteen. <laughs> No, because he ain't fuck me, but. Hmm. Tomato, tomato. He at least fucked like four or five of them bitches. Like, he was Damn. in that bitch. He was in that bitch in cheeks. Not in these, though. 
Period. I can respect you for that. Period. He really broed me, which is cool, because you know what I'm saying? Like, little bro you? He, yeah, not... All right, stop playing me. Big bro. <laughs> what you talking about? Stop playing me. But... Right, I gave you a big bro. Nah, he really, like... like he really, I don't know what the fuck he like, cause all his bitches is different. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, his baby mother bad as shit. I don't know why he don't just fuck with his baby mother. Fucking Krishan bad as shit. He still fuck with Krishan. Fucking. How do fuck- you feel about Krishan? Like what she put on for the first episode? For I mean, Krishan a little crazy, but I mean, you feel me? I know some crazy people. She a Pisces. My sister a Pisces. My sister be on the same crazy shit. And she from she a bottom exactly, Pisces. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So my sister be on the same crazy shit she be on. Like I really seen her in person. I was like, what's up, Rock? You know what I'm saying? Niggas both from Baltimore, so I was like, "What's good with you?" No, 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 that's no bad blood with her. Like, I really, I really fuck with her. Like, she cool for real. I don't got no problem with her. Like, she crazy as fuck though. I ain't gonna lie to you, crazy as fuck. Like, I could, I couldn't, I couldn't be that weak in the knees for a nigga. Like, to weak tattoo, in the to knees. Tattoo the word pussy on, on your, your body. body? That's enough right there. Like you're 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 a different type, you're a different breed, baby. Like Shorty, honestly, I want a nigga that's that crazy over me. Like as as crazy as she is over blue, I want a nigga that be that crazy over me. That nigga uh, when I a nigga that crazy over me, I know that's the one. So is there before we go any further, is there a Mr. Hotline? No. Big Insta- single. For all the men watching this right now, the Instagram will be in the description. Big single. Big S. We not pushing P, we pushing S. Period. <laughs> okay. So we talked about all right. I want you to expound on like I want you to know I want you to tell me like the first story of like, oh, this bitch is about to go fuck somebody in the house. Was niggas fucking the homeboys too? Yes, that's a, that, that's a yes. If men, for men that's watching this, if you can't tell a female reaction, the reaction she just had, as you can tell in 4K, 1080p, is a yes from the question I just asked. I'm going to take a shot. Yeah, let's take a shot before you, before you, before you expound on what, you know what I mean? Why, you know, you know, Woo. let me tell you the nickname I got for Shorty on camera, so I won't call her by name. Who? Don't you know Terminator? Yeah. Don't you know what WAP mean? Yeah. All right, so don't you know instead of P, you call it a C? Mm, okay. Coochie? Okay. Mm-hmm. Wakanator. Well, whose name is that? A yo. What the <laughs> That's a turn of events. I really did not expect her to hit the. I'm sorry. That's funny as shit. That's some funny ass shit. That's that's. I mean, if you if she called me right now, you are gonna see the name pop up. Say less. That's hard. That's tough. Baddest bitch on earth. Can't get enough rounds of applause. Wait, I forgot the question. Um, me, too, me, too, me. Yo, oh, okay, dude. okay. All right, I remember. All right, so it's walk walk me through the first story of like when you was oh a bitch about to fuck blue, and you was like, all right, no, oh, not, not just fuck blue, like you like, oh, this bitch about to go fuck somebody, just period. But because bitches was you like, don't have to put no names if you okay, don't want to, well, but I'm not going to tell you not to. You know, I'm a nigga. I'm not going. I'm gonna take the clout. Okay, well, bitches was fucking def like, like it's a vibe. Like, okay, check this out. I'm gonna put some names out there because I don't give a fuck. YOLO, shout out to Drake. Zaza. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Shorty just straight up said you, yeah. bitch. Yeah, I forgot her real name, but Zaza was really like on one of them shorties that was like, oh yeah, I would never fuck Blue. He probably fucks so many bitches. He probably has so many STDs. Like, I would never <laughs> fuck him. And then the fucking him. The first and you talking about that's what I don't she know if she fucked him on the first that, day, but was, I just know she was one of the no, bitches. I'm talking about like that's how she was sounding, like literally word from word. Yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm real good at imitating people. Yeah, so he was like, Yeah, I would never fuck him. I would never fuck with somebody else like him. And then ended up fucking him multiple no, times. Bro, I literally know who you talking about. Or at least that's what how, I heard. Let me not, from, let me not. Just from, from how you ex- make an impression, I'm like literally know who exactly you're talking about. I'm dead. That's so hilarious. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Titties. Titties. 
I'm talking about not titties. I'm talking about titties. Titties. I'm talking about like this. Like the stern body. Like you probably Strong. Punch, you probably punch them bitches and be like, hey, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad you know who I'm talking about, though. But that's yeah. what I was saying. I already knew that he was going to bro me because I'm like, I'm a real ass bitch. Like, uh, I'm really like a nigga and a bitch mixed together. So if you don't got enough, you know they what I'm saying? They was throwing that self type Yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I, you got to have enough something, something, something to really fuck with me for real because I'm going to really run you over and you really going to be mad about it. Like, so that's why I was like, I'm not really mad about Blue. Like, I'm not really pressed because Blue definitely look good. He definitely is cute in person. His little ass look good for real. But him with the me, high top fade. Okay, not with the hot top face. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure if he had a different hairstyle, he would look good. Like, just his facial features and all that shit. His little tats and his little face tats, his little rings, his little jewelry. You know what? Nigga shining for real. I get him. Now, I'm not a hating ass bitch. I get credit when credit due. He really, you know what I'm saying? He I mean, he flew. He, like, he a fly ass nigga. I'm a, I'm he flew quote, me I'm a, out. I'm going to quote what you said. So, I'm not using these words. He flew 18 bitches out. 18 bitches. So, he really liked that for real. I give him that. He a, he a fly ass nigga. I give him that. Okay. I ain't a hating ass bitch. So it wasn't any point during the show where like a random white man walked in and started curating. Nah, it was no. I didn't. I didn't see no white man walk in that house. The only white people I seen in that house was fucking could never, in March. Those were the only two white people <laughs> that was in that house. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. He. It was no real white people. Okay. Even when we went to the music video, it was no white people on set. I'm like, God damn. This this Black Lives Matter for real. No <laughs> Kaepernick. Nigga, hold that fist up. For real. Shout out to Kaepernick. <laughs> no like, bullshit. Okay, so you talked through your experience about... No, you didn't, actually. So... Sorry. Phone calls, eh? Um, so let's let's keep on track. So we talk about more so your, your 21 days. If you had to put a... a uh, if you had to put a mini paragraph together to uh, summarize, go. Basically, I had a nice time experiencing new things and getting put on. I seen some shit I never seen before. Been around some people I never been around before. Got my name in some people's hands that could really help me out and do some things. So I definitely appreciate the opportunity and the experience. But you know what I'm saying. It could have been better. Like, you know, I niggas say all you got to do is bring the clothes on your back, the clothes in your bag, and that's it. I expected all expenses paid. I was paying for shit. I'm confused. I shouldn't have to bring my card if all expenses is paid. What you had to pay for? Okay, so he took us to Walmart the first time. He paid for everything, like, you know, our blankets and shit like that, toiletries, <laughs> boom, 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 cool, fine, and dandy. He took us to Walmart the second time. This time, I don't know, for whatever reason, he was like, whatever y'all get, that's on y'all. Y'all paying for it. The second time? Yeah. This is All right, so before we go any further, for all you females out there that's going to cast for the fourth season or fifth season, whatever season they on, I only watched the first and third because I know they had some bottom. I'm not going to lie, but that's just my opinion. But um, for all you future girls that's going to be on the show, um, fucking lost my train of thought. Sorry, too much eighteen. But um, for all you, oh, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. <laughs> for all you girls, I was about to go out there on the show, cast for it, get on it, bring your bag because Blueface is not gonna play for it. The Blueface. No, nah, he's looking to the mall, right? And he was like, oh, "I'm taking y'all to the mall because y'all asked to go to the mall, so y'all can go spend y'all own money." I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought he was gonna buy a bitch some clothes for real. Like who got money? Like he that. thought he's gonna get damn. I thought he was gonna buy a bitch an outfit at least. Like at least, like, like at, least, at least, at least give a nigga some bitch a one outfit, one pair of shoes type shit. You know what I'm saying? That would be humble. So you know, but I had to buy shit anyways out there. So I got a pair of sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? Like a shirt or some shit like that. Bring back the shit. bottom. Up. They got. A Fashion Nova stores in Cali. What? That shit is sexy as fuck. I'm sorry. Whoever watching this that work, you know what I'm saying, and like putting places where places be at and shit like that. Can y'all please put a Fashion Nova store in Baltimore? Please. Because I promise you, on my mama, they going to run that bitch up. That's going to be the most banging store in Baltimore. I promise I'm you. I'm going to spend at least 500 a week. I promise just you. Just on shorty. Not even talking about if I get some socks. Like, for real. Like, the shit in that store was busting. I ain't gonna lie to you. And they had 25% off just by being in the store. So, can Shorty. y'all do that for real? For real? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 make some. I'm I'm a. I'm a <laughs> <coughs> shit. You could stay. Yeah, I'm good. Fucking vape. 
fucking bullshit. Um, I'm gonna hit some people. You need to get a fashion over in Baltimore. For real. That's crazy. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, that bitch was busting. Definitely got me right up in there. But he so ain't pay for that shit. So, but it's okay though, cause I had somebody cash at me some money before I went. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. I forgot who it was though. Yeah, probably Michael. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just be throwing. That's why I be Bye. doing with Shorty too. I be chilling with Shorty, and I just be like, she just be like, yeah, I don't remember what I was doing that day. I was like, you probably was with Darrell. Bye. I be saying You're random ass shit. names. You're funny as shit. Sorry, I'm a nigga. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you tell me about your experience. Um, tell me about did you did you learn anything out there? Hell yeah, I learned the game of f- finesse. Check this out. I'm checking. I hope I don't get. Am I incriminating myself? What you mean? Like, is it, what you about I'm, to about, to, I'm about, about to spit some TD off for real, for real. I'm about to spill the oh, wait, tea wait, right wait, quick. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want. I don't want to go to jail. You ain't gonna go to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What is? Just say. Just say. Just say a topic. What's the issue about? It's about the. It's about the car I just got. Okay. So let's spin my air first. <laughs> You all like what's being okay? Goodbye, never mind. Never mind. Crazy, ain't nothing crazy. All I'm saying is that they taught me the game of finesse. Is that nobody can't tell you no until unless you accept no as an answer. That's what the fuck they taught me. Like even when a nigga tell you no, what's the way around that bitch? Real shit. So 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 you know what I'm saying? Niggas out there, they taught me like. They went to Cali with no money, just a car. They were sleeping on niggas' couches, going to couch to couch, and they figured out a way to make some money to the point where they got a Tesla. You feel me? Make somebody to the point where they can feed, they can feed their mans type shit. To the point where they buy Balenciaga shoes just because type shit. So I'm like, damn, that's a real story. Anybody can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how they make that's only how time, it is. The only reason why you hear a no is because you accept it. No is never really a no unless, you know what I'm saying, you go for that. It's a, always a way. It's always a fucking way. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? I got my new car today. Got a 2018 Jeep Compass. I was watching that them bitch. park. I was watching them park. And I got three things to say. For one, she definitely was a little far from the curb. All right, <laughs> here he go. For two, that whip definitely looked clean. And for three, I'm jealous because I want an SUV. <laughs> that bitch hard as shit. I just came from a 2017 Kia Forte to a 2018 Jeep Compass. That shit, that shit upgraded, upgraded like an iPhone. Exactly. And check this out. I'm a whole stripper. You know strippers don't get fucking... I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? No. You don't follow me? I you did. do. So what's up? How you don't know? I don't know. I guess I didn't I didn't connect the dots. I'm sorry. I'm a whole stripper. You know strippers don't get no fucking pay stubs. These <laughs> niggas all like, oh, to get approved for this car, you got to provide some pay stubs. Guess who got some pay stubs? Guess who finessed some motherfucking pay stubs? The day of. In 20 of minutes. Applause. What are you talking time. about? Oh, day of. Day of. Day Finesse, like no, isn't you don't ever hear no. They was gonna tell me no, I can't get the car unless I provide that. Guess who? Guess who made some? Sh- guess who made something shake? You know what I'm saying? Like them Cali niggas really taught me that it's always way to make some shit shake, and I really respect that for real. Cause sometimes I would get, I'm not gonna say I would get like defeated, like I give up, but like if if I try something, like I try something three, four, five times and it never work out, I'm like, all right, that's not for me. But nah, sometimes you really gotta just never give up on some shit and that shit really gonna pursue for you. Like, you really gotta have faith and shit like that. So I really, you know what I'm saying? Really respect that. They really put me on to that shit. So I respect them for that. Okay. Okay. I like that. I definitely need to talk to you off camera and learn some tips about getting a new whip. No bullshit, because I finesse that motherfucker. No cap. But <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> We talked about your upbringing. We talked about who you are as a person. We talked about your experience getting into the blue face and the experiences in the blue face. So give me some aftermath. So nothing. It's nothing happened after the show. So I didn't gain probably about 2,500 followers off that show, which is cool. Which is going to help me, you know what I'm saying? I got like 13.6K on Instagram. That shit ain't shit. But you know what I'm saying? It looked good. Like, if I followed you, you'd be like, oh, who this? You know what I'm saying? So it looked good for real. Just a little bit. So For certain people. For certain people, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, if I put play my cards right, I can really, you know, flip this and really make some, make some, make some shit shake from this. So you know it's other shows coming now. I'm auditioning for other shows. I'm about to make music. I already got a song that's ready to come out. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, can you I'm, give me an exclusive date when it's going to drop? It's supposed to drop. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to drop August 1st. August I said 1st. August. My fault. I'm drunk. April 1st. Oh, hell no. <laughs> she said a whole different month. April 1st. You talking about this April 1st? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to drop April 1st. Hey, it's, it, at the date of recording, it is March 15th. Yeah, so that bitch dropping April 1st. That bitch supposed to be on all platforms. Supposed to be. So Give don't me quote your me. opinion on that song. I mean, it's it's not nothing, you know what I'm saying, crazy. It's just a little, it's just a little just something, a something. Yeah, it's just something to put my name out there to make people look at me and be like, damn, what this bitch talking about? Like, it's definitely not bullshit, though. It's definitely, it's definitely hard for real. They just told me they fuck with it, and they not just telling me that because they fuck with me. Like, it's, a, it's some real ass shit. Like, my bar, I feel like it's all about the bars. Like, when I listen to music, I think, I look at the bars, and I be like, damn, can I really relate to these bars? Like, my bars, I feel like you really can relate to them if you really bout that baddie shit. Like, my, I'm trying to make music for bad bitches and bad bitches only. Like, bad bitches that look in the mirror and be like, damn, who that? Shorty like, definitely gonna be bumming and shit then. Period. As she should. Yes, yeah, Ersky. <laughs> you bad bitch, I know. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. The little. <laughs> um. Fucking did. I did not take a shot for that one. I did, did that do it right, Shorty? Walking in did not approve. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see where you're going. Um, I feel like this is a great start for you. I hope. I hope so because I'm gonna be so hurt if I exploited myself for nothing because that's what it's feeling like right now. Like, I mean, I don't blame you for feeling like that. Like, he was all like, "You gotta do a nude shoot." A you got shoot. Did, yes. you, did you do it? I sure did, cause I'm comfortable in my skin. Like, oh I, yeah, you, I, I have an OnlyFans and all that. Like, I'm comfortable in my own skin, baby. I don't care. You can talk your shit. So the OnlyFans is still up and running. Show is at a hotline with two E's. Um, Subscribe twenty one ninety nine since y'all want a motherfucking. The Instagram will be in the description. That's the rest is history. That's all I'm gonna say. It's really like that. I can't cat, but. So yeah. it's the bag hand right. You said what? Is the bag hitting right? OnlyFans definitely pay my bills, so I can't complain about it. You know what I'm saying? It definitely pays my bills, and I got, I don't want to get too pressed. So I want to say it's it. cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's not nothing about it because anybody that would want to do OnlyFans, I would want them to know what they signing up for, anyways. Because it's definitely not glitter. You know what I'm saying? Everything that glitter ain't gold. So it's definitely not peaches and cream. It's definitely not. You know what I'm saying? Everything that everybody be making it seem to be. It's definitely got trials and tribulations with it. But once you understand what the fuck you're doing and understand the basis and not get too deep into it, you can make some money off there. Like like I said, I, I quit my job November. No, I quit my job September 2021. I ain't worked since. And I've been paying all my bills. You know what I'm saying? I'm still afloat. I'm still here. So OnlyFans and stripping. Been paying my motherfucking bills. And getting me a new car. Talk about some strippers can't do this. Strippers can't do that stuff. Fucking playing with me. That's what I'm saying. Sure, I got a regular nine to five job, and you got a new car before I did. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Hit up for financial advice. Don't hit me up. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna tell you get a job, nigga. She gonna tell you what to do. Get a job. Get a job, but get a job where you wanna be. Like I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Baltimore to my heart. I'ma always, you know what I'm saying, have my accent. I'ma always carry myself how I carry myself. I always walk the streets as if I'm in Baltimore and look over my shoulder and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But niggas definitely be shiesty in Baltimore. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Hit the quick look over the shoulder, but I don't wanna like set my life up here like you feel me like it's not much here like it's not going to grow to be anything big like it's hella studios being placed in other places like texas miami hella strip clubs and shit like that that's hella busting strip clubs in baltimore you know that shit ass niggas go to dc to go to the fucking strip club so exactly it's not shit in baltimore that's dealing with entertainment that's busting and that's the field that i I want to be in i was in a strip club in baltimore and a bitch had on sweatpants yay that's tough. I I wish I could be at work. I wish I could be at work in, a, in some sweatpants. I'd be in the, I literally go to the store, buy a whole $40 outfit, then tip in $100 to dance. So now I'm $140 down. So now I gotta. I have to make $140 this night or else I'm losing money. And then a nigga end up only making like uh, $200. So niggas make $60. Crap. Like, that's what I'm saying. Baltimore ass. Let alone, let me, let me, let me go somewhere like fucking Miami. Atlanta, Texas, Vegas, Cali, something like that. 
I'm bringing home Rex, baby. I'm bringing home 2K. Well, I'm definitely happy that I brought you here while you was in Baltimore. Nah, most most definitely, cause you crazy. I'm definitely going to. I'm literally going to North Carolina tomorrow. Like, fuck. I'm on the road tomorrow, baby. I'm gonna be in North Carolina. Y'all come see me. I'm gonna be at Onyx. You're Onyx. About? Yep, Onyx. I didn't even know that club was busting like that. Cardi B followed that club on Instagram. Bro, you know, know who Onyx is? That club busting. I'm about to be up in there. Hopefully, I make the auditions. You said I'm, when? <laughs> tomorrow. What you doing tomorrow, Shorty? <laughs> How what you doing tomorrow? Chill out. Chill out. You irky. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back in like a week or some change. I'm going to come back to, you know what I'm saying, a week-ass Baltimore, make some little dollars before. <laughs> I still got to still get my taxes. I love Baltimore. You can't just I love you Baltimore, too. Baltimore. Don't get me wrong. I love Baltimore, too. But Baltimore don't love me. Like, the support is not there. Like, literally, the support is not there. <laughs> so... You already know how Baltimore be. Niggas be shy. See, niggas be mad. I literally have a whole no jumper in Baltimore, and I don't get support. I know what you're talking about. Exactly. Like, niggas do not support niggas out here. Like, I'm on some type of time where I'm trying to support niggas. I'm trying to build a nigga up. You got a name. I got a name. Let's work together and try and build each other up type shit. Niggas don't be on that type of time. You feel me? Niggas just be trying to keep shit to themselves. Like, oh, I'm good. Niggas, niggas leave me on do, read. Niggas even want to do two things. They trying to fuck or they trying to get something for free. Heavy on the try and fuck. Heavy on the try and Shorty fuck. Shorty said heavy. Heavy. Y'all niggas ain't shit, man. Heavy on the ain't Can't shit. Can't relate. You shit? Huh? You shit? I'm the shit. Shorty can tell you. Okay. But um, that's neither here nor there. I'm just a nigga. Mm, okay. <laughs> you got any more questions for me? Uh, Related to this blue face shit? Let me think. Not really. Yeah. Niggas always ask me where the tat at. Niggas ask me always ask me, did you fuck Blueface? Niggas always ask me. You already told me you didn't fuck Blueface. Man. Yeah, but that's crazy that niggas really be asking me that. Like I'm like, all them bitches on there. You I think? kinda I kinda figured like it like I kinda figured that you didn't, but like but it's like not even that you didn't, but it's just like you can tell that like just from watching the show that Blueface didn't fuck all these girls. Yeah, he ain't really fucked me like that. Like I said, nigga bro me. But I really think he just like like little little I don't know what the fuck he like because all his bitches look different. I don't know what the fuck that nigga like, but he ain't like me, which is perfectly fine. My feelings ain't hurt. I came on here for some connections. I ain't even come on here to fuck with you. Some of the bitches purpose on the show was the fuck blue. And they and they got that purpose. And they damn sure did. Damn sure did. Heavy on the fucking blue multiple times. Multiple bitches. And then a bitch got beat up for fucking blue. Talking about boxing? No. Off camera? Krishan came to the house and and beat up a girl because she fucked blue. On camera? On camera. They ain't, they ain't released the footage because Shorty was all like, oh, that's if I, I don't want this that. footage released, it's not going to be released, period. And she standed, she standed on that. I give Shorty that because yeah, they, they damn sure did not post that shit. And I, I seen that shit with my own two eyes, 4K. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know the story, but I ain't going to tell the story because y'all going to be like, damn. Right, you're not going to tell the story? Yeah, I'm not going to tell the story because y'all going to be like, damn, I want to see the footage. You feel me? Fuck the footage. <laughs> tell a story. Like, I'm going to believe you. You going to believe me? Because I already, because I already, like, I already know. I, I will understand. Like, that bitch come back damn near every, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry. I keep saying that. I keep saying bitches. That female, he coming back at, like, damn near every season. So Rock came to the house. Because she heard that one of the bitches fucked blue. Whole time, she did. <laughs> but she was trying to put a B on her piece of cues like she didn't. So she all, you know, outside and shit like that. I don't know why everybody outside. I forgot why everybody was outside. But hella bitches outside. Me, my black ass likes to mind my business. My name Bennett and I ain't in it. So I'm upstairs on the second floor. In the stair, in the stairwell, looking out the window that looks down at his at his like parking garage and shit like that, and his gate in the whole front yard. So I see everything. I got I can see everything. It's like a football field. I got I got every view. So I see Rock pull up. She get out the Uber. She walk up the stairs. Her dog hop out the car. Her dog. Her dog was there. Everybody touching her dog, and she fighting bitches. She grabbed the <laughs> bitch. She grabbed the bitch by the back of her head and really get the beating shorty shit in, like really. Mong, 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 and really drag shorty, really drag shorty up 
up the driveway because you know his driveway a little tilted and shit like that curvy mm-hmm. drag shorty up the driveway really started beating her shit in and really like you know what i'm saying let her go and then started trying to fight somebody else but she was in the car so she drove away but um the shorty that got beat up she had ran up upstairs and locked herself in the bathroom rock come upstairs this is when i first meet rock for the first time she come upstairs and she got a spatula i don't know why the f- I don't know why the fuck Upstairs this bitch with a got spatula. a spatula. But she got a spatula and she at the bathroom door where the bitch is locked in at the door and she knocking on that bitch like come out, come out, wherever. Like really on some scary ass shit. The camera right there recording everything. And she's like, you might as well come out the bathroom and the bitch got the bathroom door locked. She not coming out. So I'm talking to Rock and I'm like, damn, dummy, not you really got to show you locked in the bathroom. Like, she had to show you locked in the bathroom. I'm like, she had this bitches. Shit. She had bitches on her t- on their toes. She yo, she had bitches in that house scared. Like bitch, like damn, I wonder who she gonna fight next. I'm like, I, I look, I ain't fuck blue, so I know she ain't fighting me. But hey, look, my hands like that anyways. All y'all bitches act scary. Y'all act scary when a bitch like that come around. I can't, I can't. I go can out definitely like that. tell bitches who sucking dick. I can't act like that. Like I'm saying, even if I get my shit beat in, you ain't gonna beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going out just. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get some licks in. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make you bleed just like I'm bleeding. We are gonna be even out this bitch. Fuck is you talking about? So I already know she wasn't gonna try to fight me though. But I was like, damn, bro, like, why you got show you like in the bathroom? You got bitches scared. Like, what's going on? Like, really? You you doing bitches like this? Like, had a dog running through there and everything. Like, dog running through the house and everything. I'm like, they finally told her to leave. Oh, shorty, shit. shorty still locked in the bathroom. Shorty fucking taking a shower or some shit. I'm like, fuck you. Guys. I don't know what yo i don't know what the fuck was going on in that house i ain't gonna lie to you i don't blame you i it's, was on my p's and keys it's 18 bitches i couldn't even i couldn't even like i don't even i don't blame you like out of all 18 of them i really probably only fuck with like five of them bitches so like out of five of them miss out of 18 bitches as you say out of five of them, you still talk to them today. And see. today, the only person that I, the only people I really still talk to today, I ain't gonna lie, it's really the camera crew. Like I really was talking to the camera crew more than the bitches, because <laughs> the camera crew is really where the cloud is at. Like y'all got hired to do this show, so y'all gonna get hired to do other shows. So y'all gonna, you know, know the ins and outs of other shows. Other shows need casting. I'm a oh yeah, I know the cameraman. Can I can I audition? Cool. You know what I'm saying? That's an easy hookup like that's the way i think so that's why i was cool with the cameraman like i'm cool with ed, all the cameramen like all the cameramen follow me on instagram i still talk to them like every day type shit like i'm cool with them they all out cali so i'm like whenever i'm about to pop out of there i can be like yo i'm in town what's good what's good what's good so you know what i'm saying like fuck the bitches i mean it's a suit it, like i ain't gonna lie the only bitch i really still talk to from the show is philly that's my bitch for i ain't gonna lie to you i, I talked to you i was cool and i talked to her here and there you know what i'm saying because she was on another show she was on uh baddie baddies um what's it called bad bitch section some shit like that i don't know what shit is about the air one. i heard about it yeah, about it, yeah I, I was supposed to be on that show too but i thought the show was bullshit and she told me the show was bullshit she said that she regretted being on the show so i saw i was glad i ain't going that bitch like I ain't gonna lie. If I'm gonna be on another show, it needs to be like a real ass show. Like it can't be no blue face shit. Like cause that shit, like com- it like, was ghetto. It was ghetto. It was like a long ass twerk music video. I'm dead. It definitely was ghetto. He definitely did. I ain't gonna lie though. The one thing I can't say blue did for me is that he oh he he popped my stripping cherry. I'm gonna say that because he took us to the strip to strip club. He took us to the um he took us to a pole dancing class. And the bitch was teaching us how to pole dance. And they had all the poles in the room that spin. And I was like, damn, I, I'm really good at this for real. Like, I don't, I never did this before. And I'm really busting this shit open. Like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. So Not busting this shit For open. real. Like, I'm really looking good on this motherfucking pole. The bitches in there was looking like, oh, yeah, okay, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Like, I was like, yeah, maybe I need to go home and start dancing. And what the fuck I do? Go home and start dancing. And I made some fucking money doing that shit, too. And for the first little, yeah, yeah. But it started getting to a drop period. I guess niggas, I don't know. You know you know what Playboy Cardi, the realest shit Playboy Cardi ever said that stuck with me? That fits this situation right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. This is what Playboy Cardi said. He was like, bring that money home. Daddy waiting for it. Period. I don't know who daddy is, but... Period. Who daddy? 
I don't even got no daddy. She did. Period. I'm fucking dead. You're funny as shit. <laughs> you gotta be stopped. You airing out her like she on the camera or some shit like that. They all. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, who is her? Who is her? Hey, the only thing you gotta know is, say it. What, bitches? She the baddest bitch on earth. All right, period. As she should. That's, do you have, <laughs> that's my signing off bonus. Do you have a signing off bonus? My signing off bonus is follow me on Instagram at a hotline. Yes. Follow me on, oh, subscribe to me on OnlyFans at a hotline with two E's. Two E's. And, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Like, it's a lot to see. And I'm about to make music, so fuck me on Apple Music, too. I don't know. I don't know what my rap What's name your, should be. You don't know your rap name? No, I was about to just say, like, a hey, hotline, but, or, like, hotline or some shit like that, but I'm like, I don't know. Should I just grab a hotline? Like, that's, I that's, think, I, I think I like a hotline. A hotline. Like, you mean, like, a-wah-wah -wah hotline? Okay, where the wah-wah came from? Well, like, a-wah-wah. Like, the, like, how you spell it out? No, it's, like, literally a letter A in that hotline. Oh, okay. I you like You follow that. me on Instagram. It's a I, I was I was pushed, I was thinking of it as like a as like an artist name type shit. No, it's just a hotline because you know, Adrian, a yeah. hotline, Adrian's hotline. I know. Yeah, but I like a hotline. Yeah, it's like it's like a cool little name. It's something different. Like you know what I'm saying? It's Queen Naja and Lotto and shit like that. Like. Mm, I feel like it, like you just roll off the tongue like just say like I feel like, I feel like, like that's what I'm saying I feel like either hotline or a hotline a hotline coming to your you know what I'm saying car stereo real soon y'all gonna be bumping <laughs> my shit in the car talking about I'm a baddie with a fatty your old bitch named Maddie cause she stay in her feelings about some dick she ain't getting steady watching my pockets I get money next topic and so it's like spin the bin where I'm at under skin and the story we ain't friends check the score i win I yeah won. I, I definitely need you to send me that song and that's definitely bars too fuck is you talking about run it back if you need to everything line up <laughs> everything line up hotline thank you for coming on the show of course thank you for having me did you have a good experience lit. yeah Sure, for sure. I definitely need to definitely hop into the podcast game because I'm pretty sure this bitch gonna be busting. Like, I would love mm. to have you because this this is a pre recorded show. I would love to have you on a live show. Definitely, we can. I get, have a live show every Friday. I was about to say we can get crazy on the live because it's live recorded though. Are you gonna? It's live. Don't you know YouTube? Yeah, but I'm saying like, don't it, you know how Adam should be live YouTube? Mm -hmm. It's like that. But is it going to be safe for later, though? Yes. Okay. Because I was about to say, if it's live and it's just live, like, you know, Instagram is going away in 24 it's, hours. I'm not talking Niggas about get greasy on that, bitch. I really talk my shit. It's like when you talk your shit and it's safe forever, it's like, damn, I'm going to come back to this in, like, I don't know how long. And I'm going to be like, damn. <laughs> but, like, now, I don't know. Live is like, yeah, but I'm definitely with the I'm definitely with the podcast shit for sure. I'm definitely it's shit hit, hard. I'm definitely gonna hit you up for a live show on Friday. Say less, cause I'm a well what you do not you, not this Friday, I'm gonna be in North not, Carolina. Not, the, not this you know Friday. Saying? Saying? Next Friday. Friday you know she's gonna be out making money, y'all, not this Period. Friday. Period. Come see me in North Carolina, so y'all. Maybe I do a live show every Friday around like eight or nine, seven, for eight o'clock. Yeah. All right, bet. It'd it be other people? Usually some some episodes would just be me, some episodes would be like my man's, but like it depends. Let me know, cause I definitely I'm ready to talk my shit about any topic about relationships, motherfucking Trump, motherfucking Biden, this motherfucking gas prices, inflation, gas. all like uh, economical topics, all that good shit. Oh I'm ready God. to talk money, you know what I'm saying? I'm good so, about that. Do I have the confirm on camera a hotline approval you gonna be back? For sure. Y'all gonna see me back for sure. Okay, you heard it there first. And that on that note, we're gonna sign off. Anything you wanna say to the people to say bye? No, nah, y'all gonna see me. Don't sleep on the kid, because I'm up next, period. You heard her. As you can tell, this is the number one podcast on Izerve. Twenty million dollar podcast. We're talking about cash. And this is the Blase it's not the Blase show, I'm sorry. This I'm sorry, the full lit. Super lit. Wrong outro. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a shot left in your cup? I damn sure do. This is the A Hotline interview. 
and we out this bitch. The best ho- interview and Period. she that nigga. And bitch. Nigga and bitch. I don't want to say... I, you know it's mean? cool. I'm that nigga and bitch. Period. She said it. I don't gotta say it. Period. Shorty, end this shit. We off. We done. Take the shot. Oh.